What's going on, everybody? This is an episode from the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast. Do you like podcasts and you want to see the full podcast? Make sure you check out the No Gimmicks Needed Wrestling Podcast on all your podcast platforms, such as Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, iHeartRadio, among many others. But you're listening to the episode right here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that like button in below and make sure you hit the subscribe button to NC Studios and NC Level Up for all your gaming needs. This is the Nerd Coalition. Enjoy the show. At the end, oh, they had the one-year anniversary of NXT 2.0 last uh, last week. And at the end, they had Shawn Michaels do a little bit of a promo thing, talking about, you know, the uh, NXT developmental, but they are the future, and we are NXT. And you see the NXT 2.0 rainbow logo, and it gets zapped down by this white gold with black trim, and that's the new NXT logo going forward. They taped episodes, like you said, for the next two weeks, uh, for sept- for September twentieth uh, and September twenty seventh, and then after that, in uh, probably in October, they're going to go back to where they're going to go to this new NXT. Now, a couple things about that. Uh, after the show went off the air, they said that people that was in attendance were saying they was chanting black and gold. For like three minutes straight after mm-hmm. the thing went off the air. Three or four minutes straight. They, they, they was hype. I don't think we're getting it. In your personal opinion, with, with the new logo change, like, what, what do you expect out of this this other version of NXT? Do I think we're getting black and gold? No, but I think we're getting something like a mixture of black and gold and the rainbow color. That's what I think. So, I think... I, I don't think it's going to be developmental, straight developmental anymore. I think, like, they're going to start doing what they were doing earlier, start signing a little, a few indie talents to come and help just have the brand, brand be the brand. I, yeah, I think it's going to, I mean, I, I, I don't know if it's going to be as bright. I know they're not going to go back. The, the black and gold is done. And as much as I love the black and gold, the black and gold is done. We're not going to go back and see the black ring and the gold rose. So we're not going to see that. I still think we're going to. Probably I think we'll see. I think we'll see more darker stuff, though. Yeah, I think it look look a little bit more grittier, not as polished. But there's a lot of other problems that NXT needs to do, other than just change a logo. Mm-hmm. And a couple of them things is because, like I said, I don't want people to get their hopes up. But it's like this: what they need to do. Number one, they got got that. They got to get out of that performance center. That's number one. I, I, I'm sick of If not at, get out of it, change it up. Like, change the stage, change the setting. Well, they, they did that twice. You know, because remember, remember, remember they, they, it was in the, the Capitol Wrestling Center, and they had, like, a whole underground fight club, and then Vince came in, and then he overhauled it and made it a prettier stage and then had, uh you know, the, the glass panel bars and everything like that. And it was like, okay, this looks fine. But I'm just like, they need to start running shows... In different places, they gotta either go back to full cell, or and they gotta take these guys, these these guys on the road because other than them being in, in the PC, the wrestling is suffering, and it ain't the wrestlers' fault. They these wrestlers have no chance to get no reps in, and they on USA Network. They gotta find a way to get back on the road. And give these people reps. Look, are you a fan of Last Legend? No. No, but it's not her fault. You know what I'm saying? Like, well, well I guess I just, yeah, okay, whatever. No, sure. No, no, here, here, here's how I'm looking at. It. Look, there, you, you, you got people on the roster that can go. You got Braun Breaker. You got Carmelo Hayes. You, you got those guys that can. Uh, Grayson Waller, even Tony Daniels. You got those guys that can work and, and go at it. And on the crowd, but everybody's not. Everybody can't do that. And when NXT went on the road, the, those guys when they, they was having live events, that's how they were getting their reps in front of people. That's how they was able to. They, they, they on the road. Yeah, they just got back on the road. They're like a month and a half, two months. Yeah, but I see people like Last Legend and people like uh, EXO was EXO the, the, the Super Diva. I forgot what his name is. Uh, people like 
Von Wagner, people like Andre Chase, like those people can get their can get their 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 reps in, so the, so we can have better momentum. Because right now, NXT is not nowhere where, where it once was. The whole roster can't wrestle. I'm sorry. You have the top people. You have Creed Brothers, Toxic Attraction, Breaker, Hayes, and you know Wesley here, the Tony D'Angelo there, and you know uh, Tiffany Stratton there. But everybody can't wrestle. That's why I said I was signing up like of like four indie talents to come and help them out and then develop the under talent and then. What well, the good thing is they do have the UK, which is is you know pretty deadly. Uh, they have uh, Tyler Bate. They have uh, God, who else is from the UK? That, oh, uh, was it Gallus? Yeah, but. But they still need like women and like another like name to help them out too. Oh yeah, I I, I agree. And like I said, it's it's, it's kind of hard for them right now. Like me personally, I don't know what's going on with Gresham, but I'm like I would I would do my best to go get get Gresham over there. I would do my best to go go to, like look at your free agent right now. You look at your free agent pool right now because most of the people that that you had in NXT <coughs> that Vince fired is over in AEW right now. I mean. Go try to see if you can get back Bronson Reed if he's if he's done with Impact or whatever's going on with him in Impact because I haven't even heard much of him even in Impact. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on with him. So I'm saying you can get Bronson Reed back. You can sit there and try to get Jonathan. I don't know what's going on with, with, with Jonathan Gresham. I don't know what's going on with some of the other Ring of Honor talent. I'm pretty sure he's Trish is looking all into all that stuff. I'm pretty sure he is. But those are some of the changes that needs to happen to NXT. And they're just gonna be be black and gold, and we're gonna have like oh the best wrestling show ever. No, because and look, let's just be real. NXT 2.0 is not that good. You have a couple matches here and there, but the show is just not good. It it's it's boring a lot of times. It's kind of like Rampage. It's just there. Where NXT used to be the best wrestling show of the week back in the day, that uh. But right now, it's just there. So before you get all the hopes up about the logo switching to uh, gold and white with a black trim, it's not even really like a black and gold type thing, you can't get your hopes up too much because you got to understand that uh, they, they got a lot more rebuilding to do. Because now, I, I, I think the logo just letting people know that Triple H is in charge again. Yeah. No, I'm saying, but even though know, obviously he's been in charge, yes, but I think this logo is like, no, Triple H is, this is Triple H. I agree. I'm just saying, you should see the people on, like what some of the people are saying online, talking about stuff. All right, Wednesday, round two. I'm just like, these people are not going back on Wednesdays. Yeah, no. They're not going to, they're not going to take the show and say, hey, now I'm back in charge. Let's go to Wednesday. It's not, it, that, that's, that's, it's just stupid business. Besides, I, I, I I, don't they play hockey on Wednesdays? You know what I'm saying for uh, USA. I'm not sure, but right then, that's just a stupid move to do. Dynamite is established. Dynamite is taking the Wednesday night slot. Why would you even do that? Because right now you don't have the roster to compete with Dynamite right now. Dynamite beat the Black and Gold. Dynamite did not beat Vince McMahon. Dynamite beat Triple H. He beat the Black and Gold when they had all the Black and Gold members on there from Adam Cole to Samoa Joe to Finn Balor to Ta- Tommaso Ciampa to Jango Gano to Andrade. Like they, they had them all. And he lost. That happened. And now you you, you, you going to say go head to head with a worse roster when you got about 60 to 70 percent of your roster that can't really work? That makes no sense. Just let just let it be what it is. Like I said, Triple H is 225. Dane's got to cook in the oven a little bit. He gave y'all a new logo. Let him know that, you know, him and him and Sean are back in charge. They're going to take care of the talent here on NXT. But they got they, they got to rebuild it back up. It, it, it got, it, since they're back on the road, you, you got to rebuild them back up. Let these people get, get, get some reps in. That's what, that's what they used to do when... Uh, when, when we went to the NXT house show, we saw <clears throat> Apollo Crews do good matches. We saw Sonya Deville get, get matches. We saw Street Profits before that. They were even Street Profits. We called them Red Shoes here in Philly. 
Sonya Deville had a match. This back when Sonya Deville was still the kickboxer. And she was barely getting any, any type of time on TV. But she on, on the live event, she, she was getting her reps in. I was just like, all right. And there was a couple other NXT talent. I'm trying to remember who it was that, you know, that, that, that was low on the card. And it was like, okay, well, they, they're here to perform in front of the live crowd so they can, you know, get their, get their stuff in. It's supposed to be like on TV. I think that, that works better for their talent because when you got a talent on TV and they suck and the social media go, goes and runs and says you suck, they can fuck with their mind. Because, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, I got that they don't see that stuff. Like when y'all, they tore Shotzi apart for all them botches in, her, in the ladder match. I'm just like, y'all, man, y'all need to get off Shotzi. Like, okay, you, she had a bad match. Ain't like this girl, like tell this girl to go kill herself and shit like that because then it's stupid and it's crazy. And, if, and when they see a Lash Legend or a Wendy Chu, which I think Wendy Chu is actually pretty decent, but uh, when they see these people and they're like, yo, man, she sucked, man. Why the hell they... What is she supposed to do? She's new. And she shouldn't even be wrestling in front of the TV with y'all, but it's happening. That's probably why they put her, put her with Pretty Daily to help so they, they can work with her. Yeah. To, to, you know, to, 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 to kind of uh, get her better. <clears throat> That's just some shit shit I don't understand. 